friends has quite a popular social media account that she doesn't post her name on, just edits and stuff. And she gets hate quite regularly. Yeah. It's just considered acceptable. Yeah, hate is quite common with it. With things like Ask FM, where people mm. just anonymously mm. post things that aren't yeah. particularly nice to read. Yeah. I know um, someone that um, actually um, had someone message them on Facebook, and they continued to message them, and, uh, message them, and they actually ended up like arranging to meet them, um, like in town. And they actually went to meet the guy that was supposedly like attracted to her or whatever, but. Um, he did turn up, thank, like, thank goodness, but like, it's so risky, I yeah. think. There's also like, options for anonymous messaging, and I mm. think that's one of the main reasons people uh, can go into like an abusive relationship or something which doesn't work out as well, because uh, there's no name to that face, but not just that. On Facebook itself, um, one of the main buttons is like a privacy button, and security buttons. You just click on that, it takes you step by step school as well we get a lot of campaigns like um, online safety every year and they do like assemblies and presentations where you actually get informed much more than like we did in say primary school. I think Facebook are particularly good though now at, at making sure people understand how privacy settings work. Um, just last week I had a something on my feeds from Facebook itself saying would, would you like to review your privacy settings yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I have never seen that on another social media platform they awesome. may have it but I haven't seen it. I mean, people say that sort of 60% of commu human communication is done through tone of voice and facial expressions and, bo and, and body language. And of course, when you're talking over the phone or, or especially over, over social media, um, you lose all of that. So I think that's often when it becomes so easy to misinterpret what somebody's saying. I mean, they, they, may, they may just be saying it as a joke or a bit of banter, but the person on the other end may not see it as that. I know I get told this about my mum, she always says like, don't post or send anything you want me to see. So like, don't be putting any kind of messages up in Facebook that you want my mum to read or, you know, it's quite an easy way to think of it. If you don't feel proud enough in what you've sent, that you won't feel comfortable showing it with, you know, your closer relatives, then it's obviously not something you should be sending.